This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the acid and base dissociation constants Ka and Kb. So let's start with a review of weak acids and bases. Weak acids and bases partially dissociate or ionize in solution. Here we have equations for the dissociation or ionization of a weak acid, which is ethanoic acid, and a weak base, which is ammonia. Because these are weak acids and bases, they only partially dissociate. This means that the position of equilibrium in these reactions lies to the left, which is the reactant side. So at equilibrium, the concentrations of the reactants, so that's the weak acid and the weak base, will be much higher than the concentrations of the hydronium ions and the hydroxide ions. This means that the strength of a weak acid or weak base depends on the position of equilibrium. So to summarize, the further to the right the position of equilibrium lies, the greater the concentration of hydronium or hydroxide ions and the stronger the acid or base. So here we have the reaction that we saw in the previous slide. Ethanoic acid reacts with water to form the hydronium ion and the ethanoate ion. As this is an equilibrium reaction, we can write an expression for the equilibrium constant Kc. So in the expression, we have the concentration of the hydronium ions and the concentration of the ethanoate ions in the numerator. In the denominator, we have the concentration of the ethanoic acid and the concentration of the water. The concentration of the water remains more or less constant. So it becomes part of the Kc and we have a new expression, which is the Ka. The Ka is the acid dissociation constant. And here we can see the expression of the Ka for the above reaction. The Ka, which is the acid dissociation constant, is an equilibrium constant that refers to the dissociation or ionization of an acid. So here we have the equation for the dissociation of a weak acid HA. The products are the hydronium ion and the conjugate base of the weak acid. And here we have the expression for the acid dissociation constant Ka. In the numerator, we have the concentration of the hydronium ions and the concentration of the conjugate base of the weak acid. In the denominator, we have the concentration of the weak acid. As we saw in the previous slide, water is not included in the expression. The magnitude of the Ka tells us the extent of dissociation and the strength of the acid. In this table, we have two acids. At the top, we have methanoic acid. At the bottom, we have ethanoic acid. The Ka of methanoic acid is 1.78 times 10 to the negative 4. The Ka of ethanoic acid is 1.74 times 10 to the negative 5. So the larger the value of the Ka, the greater the degree of dissociation and the stronger the acid. So of the two acids we have here, methanoic acid has the larger value for the Ka, therefore it's the strongest acid of the two. Next, we look at Kb, which is the base dissociation constant. So Kb is an equilibrium constant that refers to the dissociation or ionization of a base. So here we have an equation that shows the dissociation of a weak base B to form the hydroxide ion and the conjugate acid of the weak base. And here we have the expression for the Kb. In the numerator, we have the concentration of the conjugate acid of the weak base and the concentration of the hydroxide ion. In the denominator, we have the concentration of the weak base. Once again, we see that water is not included in the expression. The magnitude of the Kb tells us the extent of dissociation and the strength of the base. So in this table, we have two bases. At the top, we have methanamine. At the bottom, we have ammonia. The Kb of methanamine is 4.57 times 10 to the negative 4. The Kb of ammonia is 1.78 times 10 to the negative 5. So the larger the value of the Kb, the greater the degree of dissociation and the stronger the base. So of these two bases, methanamine has the highest value for the Kb and is the strongest base. So let's end with a summary. The magnitude of the Ka and Kb tell us the extent of the dissociation and the strength of the acid or base. The higher the value of the Ka, the higher the concentration of hydronium ions at equilibrium and the stronger the acid. The higher the value of the Kb, the higher the concentration of hydroxide ions at equilibrium and the stronger the base. 
Stronger acids and bases have higher Ka and Kb values than weaker acids and bases. So that's all from this video. In the next video, we'll look at how to calculate the value of the Ka and Kb.